so feel the all-wheel drive and that little bit right there or the Haldex like actually feeling like an all-wheel drive car this makes me so fucking happy holy crap I cannot wait for autocross What is up guys? It is Sunday afternoon, uh, right outside of Denver, and I decided to take the long way home, not the longest way home, but oh my gosh, look at that. The rolls, holy shit. Um, <laughs> we're like some like rich little, it's called Happy Canyon Road, and we're gonna take this road uh, to avoid all the traffic here, uh, going from Denver to Colorado Springs, so you see or this goes and it goes this road and then all these back roads. So figured we'd take the scenic route, get to test out the uh, Howdex tune, see how it feels in the, in the turns and curves. I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna put this on the tripod, maybe even turn the GoPro on, do a little time lapse uh, and let you guys know what I think, at least on some canyon roads until we get to the next autocross event to really test out the, uh, the tune. But uh, this might not be the most exciting video. So if you're not gonna watch the whole thing, at least drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned to the end or fast forward to the end. I'll let you know what I think.
northwest on West Pine Creek Road. Continue on Colorado 67 South for three quarters of a mile. Well, we pulled off to check out the scenery. As you can see, the road changed to a uh, very dirt road. These RSRRs are not meant for any type of gravel or rain. Um, so the tires are kind of like slipping everywhere. Uh, I'd play around a little bit if there wasn't so much. Uh, there's a bunch of ATVs and uh, dirt bikes and stuff out here. But it is gorgeous. This place is just awesome. And she, This lady here, she said it will wind up down by... Uh, a river and all types of stuff. Let's see if I can get this. Check this out. It's so pretty. Just stupid gorgeous up here. I'm glad we took this way. But uh, we still have like seven hours to go. So we're going to hop back in the car and get to moving. I don't think we're out of Denver yet, dude. Yeah, we're like barely out of Denver, so. This is a nice little little scenic stop. The car looks good. We saw Bambi's mom. Yeah, we saw Bambi's mom. There's a squirrel right up here behind us under a rock. Ugh. All right, back in the car we go. All right, well, we just got off the dirt road. That was actually pretty cool. It was actually really cool. Going nice and slow through that shit. But uh, now we're back on pavement, and it looks like there's a ton of curves ahead. These Federals do not like the dirt at all. But it was still cool. But uh, we're gonna try and find some spots where Jesse can stand. I can come like balling down the road.
I mean, that little bit right there, or the Haldex, like, actually feeling like an all-wheel drive car. This makes me so fucking happy. Holy crap, I cannot wait for autocross. I'm so glad we took these roads. Look at people just floating down the... That's awesome! I have no idea where we are. <laughs> this is sick. Love it! Love it. pretty this is. I'm kind of stuck in traffic right now. It's uh, nice and red here for a little bit, but whatever little town we're in, it's definitely awesome. I wouldn't mind living here. Alright guys, well it's been a over a week actually since the rest of that video was made, but I can say um, in just about every scenario possible other than autocross, uh, I did some test launching and going back and forth, we're getting some ethanol in the car. Today hopefully to start doing some ethanol testing and get on the dyno this weekend, um, try and make 500 horsepower. But with this Haldex tune, it is great. Um, I can launch better. I can get on the power earlier in a corner. I can, um, like, braking in a sh or in any hard braking scenario, really, like, in those turns there. Um, the car is much more planted since it's not disengaging the rear when you're on the brake. Um, man, I don't really know what else to say. Like, you need, if you have an R, you should definitely get this tune. And you can have... This tune on top of other tunes, say you're like me, uh, pro tune through Eurodyne with Frank, you can have like your ECU tune, and then if you're DSG, you could have say United Motorsport or whatever, Haldex tune, or just, let's just say, um, yeah, either way, you could have three different tuners. You have one for your ECU, one for your TCU, and one for your Haldex. They don't have to be all the same people. Um, thankfully, that's, that's cool that the way things are set up. Um, the car just feels great. Like it's every scenario, you can see how happy I was in the video. I'm still pretty stoked. I'm super, super stoked um, for autocross. Not this weekend, but the following weekend, um, there's autocross. And then mid-August, there's actually an autocross during the day in Lubbock. And then 100 miles almost north will be autocross that night. So I'm going to try and do two autocrosses in one day. Um, RIP tires. My tires are going to hate me. My car is going to hate me. So it's going to be extremely hot during the day, but the night on the cross should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, like I was saying a minute ago, uh, we'll be getting on a dyno this weekend with ethanol, try and make 500, and then that night, Saturday night, the 27th, Amarillo is having this flashlight shootout. It's a thousand dollar pot for my class. Um, flashlight start, quarter mile, should be a lot of fun. The last time I went to an event like this, it was no prep, eighth mile, but I made it to the finals, and I would have won had I not jumped on the light. Um, I didn't even think I'd make it anywhere near that far, honestly, but, uh, now I have a little bit higher hopes and I'll have a completely different, uh, car in terms of the way it makes power and all that, especially with the all-wheel drive tune. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Saturday night is going to be a very, very interesting time. I'm getting a lot better at slipping the clutch now and, uh, you know, with Frank doing his tuning magic, it's going to be, it's going to be nice with it. So the car is going to be nice and turned up Saturday night. Hopefully they have the timers on so I can actually get some legitimate times for you guys. Um, so we'll see. But uh, on the Haldex tune, 10 out of 10. I mean, I paid on, with taxes and everything, I think it was $634 to get down to Blue Water. I was in and out in like 30 minutes. And it's worth every penny. Um, yeah, you just need to get it and experience it. You're gonna love it. No matter, you do, you do dig racing, you do track racing. Um, you even get better MPGs on the highway because it disengages the rear completely to give you a, a little less drivetrain loss. Drive train loss and gives you a couple more MPGs. So there's it gives something to every corner, literally. <laughs> um, yeah, that's all I got. Make sure you drop a thumbs up. Got any questions? Feel free to uh, pop them down below and uh, be looking out for Thursday's video because I got a bunch of suspension stuff coming in this week too. 
Uh, I'll be putting on the trailing arms as soon as they come in. So trailing arms and all-wheel drive tune will be what's being tested at the next autocross. And after that autocross, we'll put uh, all the rest of the stuff that's coming in. You'll see on Thursday. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.